How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Toy Table. I'm your host, Steve, and I'm joined by my co-host, Ken. Ken, you want to say hi? Say hi. Hi. Anyways, we are down here, and I'm going to show him some of the teams and show you guys some of the teams that I've set forth for our Bump and Grind series, and then maybe through the way, we will also open up, uh, if I manage to find another one of these, uh, pristine hockey packs, pre-packed, and it has a relic or an autograph. I think this one's going to have an autograph, which will be one of our first hockey card or sports card autographs in this basement. We managed to get two pretty nice patches out of out of it. We got Nick Foligno, you know, pretty good. And we also got Ryan Carter, and these are each game used. And All right. Anyways, we are back. Uh... Anyways, yeah, so this is your chance to, I guess, pick up a team. Just lay down in the comments uh, which team you'd like. There are several, um, and even if you would like to rename the team, just, you know, just let me know, and you can cheer along. Um, basically, I've got to, like, do a little bit of cleanup. These teams are not going to stay on this rail without us bumping or moving them, and then I'll have to find them again. So this is a good way for me to kind of clean them up and put them in sandwich bags of waiting. But we will get through them all, and hopefully quite rapidly, because you know we're gonna have to make some little bit of changes in the basement here, as we're gonna have Russell starting to come down here. So we're not gonna be able to have as many things out and about that aren't gonna get construed. I almost. Slip, yeah, we at least. But, but, but uh, I used my balance. <laughs> you did use your balance. I was leaning like this, and, and I used my balance. We saw that. All right, Ken, you wanna? I'm gonna see. Sh wanna see some cars? Well, I'll come in a minute. Okay, sounds like he's gonna uh, run around. Uh, I wanna do my fancy car right now. For sure. Okay, first up, we've got a team called Before and After Ken. And that is going to consist of a pretty fast car, the 57 Chevy. And Ken's providing the engine sounds. And we got the Nissan 300 ZX white. That is going to be before and after. Lay down a text if you would like to be team owners of that. Team owners, you're going to get a slight advantage when I do the brackets. The losing teams, depending on how well you do all right we are back we had to find a fire engine and is got one anyways i'm going to give this next team to uh, the die cast hunter i got to get the correct spelling of the uh, video i gotta look back in my watched i guess folder um yeah i've had some time to actually watch a fair amount of videos it's unbelievable some of the tracks and collections that people have but anyways he was laying down his favorite castings and I saw this one first and I thought this one like from afar looked like one of those Chevy Chevelles but it's a Zuru so it's a Zuru and then we got his ultimate favorite there there it is so we'll see how it does in the it's having trouble picking it up it's the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS so that is going to be entered at some point. Also, let me know, guys, uh, how you would like me to, I guess, choose the teams. I can just kind of draw them out of a hat like I am. Or like I, or, you know, roll the dice, but also draw the, you know, draw out of a hat. Anyways, this next team, I think, is stacked, but they're going to be called Rigged to Win. We'll show you what we got here, what we're playing with. We've got a, another cust or no, this is a 12 Mustang Boss. We've seen another uh, uh, 2012 Mustang on the sunsets really tear up this track. This one, in fact, is our second fastest Mustang. And it was a very similar event, wide lane event. So it's quick. And then this is a pretty quick Escalade in itself. We have another round here, Dad, another one around here, but it's slower Dad, than this one. Dad, so this one's I, I, called I Rigged. Know. To win. Hey, I need to tell you something. Sure. I have a note in my backpack. Okay. Did the teacher give me that? All right. We can read it later. Uh, after the video, okay? Sure. 
and then we'll come back down here and, and do and, and do some and then and then we'll do some racing okay okay this next group of two cars is called just one time just one time you figure I don't think too many Vipers and Corvettes are going to be teamed up and it's going to be the SRT Viper GTSR and that is a 2016 mainline some of those 2016's really do struggle to get down the track and we got a Corvette C7R and that's a 2017 with the Summit Auto Parts on the side so just one time Entering the flow. Got a lot more cars here, guys. Sit back and enjoy the show. I'm gonna have to try to pick up the pace. This one's called Maxed Out. And it's a couple Corvettes. So we got the police Corvette. Nice gunmetal. And the silver one. And those are basically the same car. One's a Corvette C6R. And the other one is, I should check my notes. I got it all written down, guys. I got it all written down. I haven't done any of the weights on these new cars. I'm not sure whether anybody's really too interested, although in our last race, CR6R. In our last race, uh, we did see that metal body really uh, have its way with some of those lighter cars going down the track. All right, next up. Two for fast. Two for fast is our next team name, and we got a Chappelle, Chaparral, Chaparral. Don't really know how to say that. Looks like a supercar, and uh, not sure where I picked this one up. Could be a thrift store find. You never know about those thrift store finds. And then we got a Ferrari P4. Man, I haven't been to the thrift store to pick up cars in a long time. Just sticking with the new ones. The thrift store cars got kind of expensive with so many cars not really being able to roll. So there's one bag of waiting set, ready to go. Next up, this could be a popular team here. I know these were fast when they came out and they're called Wide Load and it's a pair of Matchbox Hummers. And yeah, these are notoriously fast and we'll see whether they can ride the ranks and win the boot championship when it's their turn also want to give a shout out speaking of sandwich bags of waiting i think the king of sandwich bags of waiting other than myself has to be your nightmare of racing give him a shout out give him a watch that guy takes his hot wheels seriously which is good i think we all do if we're watching hot wheels videos this long what did I do with the team name for this one? Oh yeah, I gotta come up with, I gotta, I gotta get a sticker for this one. These ones here, they're called the Why Nots. It's not really focusing too well, but it's okay. This one here is 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility, and that is a matchbox. And then we have the pizza edition of the Time Shifter. So, good luck. We'll see whether why not can handle the boot challenge. Next up, we've got the Spider Man and a Toy Story car for a team name of Spider Stories. Spider Stories could be yours if you comment, and we'll have to wait for them to get to the contestants' row. But the Spider-Man car, I remember it, we opened it. It ran like a chicken with its head cut off. Should be able to do well in this format. Next up, got a couple Grand Torinos. 72 Grand Torino and 72 Grand Torino. And I was running out of names by this time. We're just gonna call them the Bears, the Bears. The Lions, the Tigers, and the Bears. No rhyme or reason why I called them this. And it's a 2016 mainline. When you see these stickers, um, believe it or not, after I did the uh, Quarter Century Hot Wheels mainline super tournament, I went through just about every car and stickered them up. And before I divvied them all out 
into various events like this one. We've got a couple more. Quarter Century Hot Wheel Mainline Daddy, Super Tournament competitors. Same spot it was yesterday. And we're actually going to give this team to Your Nightmare Racing. And we're going to simply call it Your Nightmare. I realize I probably got a spelling mistake there. And it's a couple Solaires. I know Your Nightmare Racing okay, really likes the Solaires. Can I see? Sure. Hey, some There you go. Whoa! It's got a big engine. Boy, that's so cool. <laughs> Can I, could... I check this one? Sure. When you're done with it, just put it in this bag over here. Okay. We're going to race it a different day. Look at these two coming up. Squad of Aces. I wish I came up with before and after for this one. Might have to rewrite this badge too. Got kind of a rush there near the end. And we got a Matchbox Cornet. Yeah, I do believe it's Matchbox. Where's the Matchbox thing? Yeah, it's Matchbox, sorry. And then we got a Dodge Drift Car here. Dodge Challenge, Dodge Charger drift car. So that's squad of aces. Comment below if you would like the squad of aces. And just like that, well, I'm going to close up. Bear with me here, folks. Just like that, that's two bags down. And I'm going to one of these shows coming up, maybe even tonight. If we, if if Ken's not down here racing with me, I might do a ten race special just to really get it things changing. No, no, I am gonna be down here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do a quicker video, and then maybe when you go to bed, I'll do some more racing. Cause I got a lot of cars to race, bud. All right, here we go. Next what? up. Sleek lines, sleek lines, gonna make an attempt at the boot championship, the bump and grind series. And these are each match boxes in the Range Rover Evokes 2015. Hi, right, what's up? Well, are you gonna stay down here and, and not? Well, we can play games later too. We're gonna get Russell soon. I think I'm going to have to make a part two of this. So, next up, we got this one called Spoiled by Nature. Spoiled by Nature. And it's a Pikes Peak Celica. And it's a, the name is a play on those spoilers. And we got the Custom Cougar. I think this one was a Sega. Sega car, 2010 on. 2010 mainline on the yellow one. So, we'll see how they do. All right, next up, Sleek Lines, Spoiled by Nature, and here's another pre-drafted team. I'm gonna send this one and a shout out to Peg Hunt Pit Stop. I can't wait for part three in the information on how to sell your Hot Wheels. I have kind of taken the bug uh, as well. I haven't sold any, but I've definitely gone through some of my car car carded cars and looked for uh, some of the better shaped ones. Anyways, he wants to buy a Tesla, so we're going to give him some Teslas. We got the 2020 and 2016. Uh, one's a Model S and one's a Model 3. Not sure which is which, but we'll figure that out when it becomes their race day. I'm interested in seeing how these ones do. Um, we got a couple super comps, open wheelers, so, so, you know, some metal on them, and we're gonna call this one Anything Goes. Anything Goes, if they fit in that uh, starting gate, we will race them. 
I think that's gonna. Uh, we might have room for two more cars in that bag. Next up, we got Gone Fishing. And it's a couple. I think these are each from uh, Thrift Banks, Fast Fish, Faster Than Ever. And they are notorious around here in our early days of racing to be very fast. We'll see how they do. If you like those fast fish, let me know in the comments below. If you like, if you like any other cars that are not featured in this, just let me know. I can go through my cars and have a look for you and uh, get you all set up. The design is, and the kind of the plug is, is you just don't know when you're gonna race. You're gonna have to come back and check. So this one's called the Gens, the Gens, and because that's we got the twin mill. I don't know where the sweet spot is. There it is. Spectre Flame on there. And that's a 2010. And then we got the Gen E. I forget how this one does. 2020 also raced in the quarter century Hot Wheels mainline super tournament. Only raced at the Toy Table Raceway. And Ken was here for a lot of those races, that's for sure. Okay. You know what, Ken? We might be able to finish this. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace. We got uh, plenty of seating, and it's two Chevy Nomads, each from the Quarter Century Hot Wheels mainline. One is a 2018 edition. They're both 2018s, and we will see how they do. Next two. Thank you, bud. These are cool, eh? I'll, I'll get the, the mushroom in the bag okay well i gotta read uh, let me hold on let me read it so these ones are called the sweet spots sweet. yep okay, can I, which uh, and that's a chevy 2 oh, which and there is 63 okay, chevy 2s which twos. bag is it uh the open one so there we go Let's see how they do All right, next up, Ken's bringing over a couple of matchboxes. And they are the 300M matchboxes. And we're gonna call this one, wait, let me read it, let me show it. This one's gonna be called Frontage. If you have a better name for them and you like to drive them, sometimes they're solid. And uh, you can cheer along for these uh, Chryslers. Next up. We got bicycle kicks, and they are the soccer cars. Once again, with all these teams, it's confusing me on who is really going to shine through in those open lanes. I know those cars hey, hey, hey. are faster than back. most. Oh, okay. You're gonna, I'm going I'm to take the ticket quickly. Next up, we got Impreza Nation. You should know what's coming to the table. Thanks, bud. Or have a guess. We have a couple Imprezas. I was really amazed to see the size difference in these. This one's a two-door one, Ken. Do you like these cars? And this one is yeah. a four-door sedan. I like the fancy you, you like, Those are fancy, eh? And just like that, that's our fourth bag completed. And I can write down your names. I got all these written down. Oh, we got more than that, bud. Nope. Yep. Yeah. I got lots. Nope, behind you. Yeah. Okay, next up, we got hang a left. Hang no, a no, left. That's supposed to be an F. And we've got the Impalas going for a ride down there. Oh, can you leave those ones, bud? Oh. All right, next up, I got the ticket. We got Porsche support, Porsche support. We need your support, Porsche support. Where, where, and it's a couple um, where, Porsche where, where, Carreras. Where 2020 main line here. Oh, just leave them there. I gotta find a good spot for them. And then we got a, one that was just opened uh, on its own. And they're 1996 Porsche Carreras. Get my hands out of the way. 
Hopefully these show up pretty decent. You know, some guys go through a lot of effort to showcase their cars. Love it. Okay, this one's good team. We got Advantage Aston. Advantage Aston. And this one, here this ninth. This was the ninth fastest red car on the red team at one point when we were early in our collecting. I can't wait till I race the colors again. We've opened up so many cars there in the spring. And then I, even then, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, if you guys are still with me in this, maybe leave a comment with saying yes to that tournament idea when we get through this. But we got the case of waiting with all those top cars from each uh, mainline year that we've collected. And I'm, I'm wondering just if they could handle or which team, if we were to take the top three cars from each color of our uh, color teams, obviously, which one's faster? The the cars that we... Anyways, that's another another time for another idea for another day. This one's called Leather Options. Leather Options. I feel like when you were going to a dealership for this, these cars, you'd get some leather options. We got... A Mercedes there. What kind of a Mercedes is it? It is. Oh, uh oh. It's a 15 Mercedes Benz. Of oh, course, I didn't really it's write it all. Table. Yep. And then we got an Alpha oh, Romeo Guerrero. No, you're not. I'll just get it. One sec. Yeah, buddy. We are almost, almost done. Next up is the Trotters. The Trotters. And these are some of people's favorite castings. It's the 1970 Ford Escort. We got the Castrol. Really love this one. This is one of the first ones in the house. I think it's a 2016, and it is. And here is a 2020. So we'll see how the Trotters do with their time on the track. And I am pumped, guys. I think my favorite part is finding all the teams and looking through my collections and I'll well, try to think of the names, but then also I've got, I got to keep with it and get it done for you guys. Turbo boost. Cause I figure if you guys are starting to put the time in to watch these things. I had better finish them. Turbo boost, a couple mock speeders. And those are 2018 mainline editions. And as we go, guys, I will also be opening up some uh, newer Hot Wheels or like new Hot Wheels from you know, Carter Cars. Let me reach up here for one. And part of like, maybe instead of mailing stuff, but part of your prize is if you get some of the brackets right, I might give you some fake money and put some fake prices just like this one. And you guys can buy teams or add to your teams and switch out cars just do it all through the comments a little virtual fantasy hot wheels league yes i got a song new song oh kindness kindness everybody try this is that kind of it Okay, you know what? We can practice it on the way to get rusty. So, because we're almost done. I only got about six more teams, guys. I scream for sushi. I love seeing these things go down. I don't think I have any chance at doing too much damage except to the other cars. And they're going to have a chance. I try to put some variety into it. If you guys think some of the variety is missing and you want... Some other cars for your teams, let me know. This is another drafted straightaway team, and it's going to go to uh, Diecast Racing Review or Review Racing. And this team here, it's going to be called Top 5 Listed because he listed his top five favorite castings in his collection. I just so happen to have a second 
and I think it's fourth, if I remember correctly, the solar reflex. So you're going to have a chance to see how this goes down the track without even having to mail it to me. So that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, I guess, yeah, I'll keep it in the card for him. It's in the bag. All right. Next up, we've got these time of taxis. And they're just going to be called crazy taxis. Crazy taxis. Next up, got a couple of 70 Camaros. Love this flamed out one. Gonna be a pleasure to send those down the track. If you guys would like this one, these are called Tuned Up. Tuned Up. all means you can pick a couple teams and this next one's called muscle package I hope I spelled muscle right it doesn't really look right I can never really spell that one right no one ever confused me for being a top scholar that's for sure and we got this Falcon 2010 mainline and I keep trying it but we got the 70 Challenger for some reason I have like four or five of these cars opened not even, I, I guess I like this car, but for some reason I bought a lot of them. Okay. Uh, let's, you know what, I'm going to, uh, Ken, do you want to open up our hockey cards? Ken, where's those uh, scissors? Um, I don't know. You don't know. You don't know. They go up there. Did I, t did I take them up there? I think you did. I saw them in your hand. I think you did. All right. Well, hold on. Let me see whether the old teeth. No, that's really on there. go. Ken, you want to see what we get out of our pack? Come on over. Then we'll get Russ. All right, a little bonus footage here, a little cracking some cards. And let's have a look. We got Craig Smith, Jacob Slavin. Look at that, Peachy Premium. Pretty nice looking card to give you there. Four dollars for this pack. Four dollars Canadian. Jacob Truba. Tim Kerr. Why do I know Tim Kerr? I don't know. I feel like I I, I knew him. Where's he from? Kink. No, no. Ch Cherry Hill, New Jersey, Windsor, Ontario. Born in Windsor. That's like a lot of background they give you on this series, Ken. This guy, last amateur club, Kingston Canadians, and then acquired, signed as a free agent, and then born 1960, Windsor, Ontario, and now he makes his home in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> uh, original six. That's just the Leafs. Doug Lister, I think I think he was in, um, I think I'm thinking of Doug Lynch, no, I don't know. Roger Johansson, Craig Simpson, we definitely have a ton of this in this basement. More of this Bowman, Tony Granato, I'm going to separate these Bowmans because I'm going to pave the hot, Craig Simpson, I think this is our second one of those, Steve Chason, Brent Frederick. David Volik, Jeff Norton, Tom Fitzgerald, oh, Pitcher Premier, Sylvain Cote, former Leaf, Jordan Tutu, uh, Alexander Semmen, 
Daniel Alverson. Pretty good looking card there. Other deck SP. Joey Thornton, now on the Leafs. Tony Tantony. Trevor and Jamie Linden. Here's a trivia question, boys. Of all the brother combinations in the NHL, do you know which combination of brothers have the most combined goals when you add them together? That is your trivia question of the day. Darren Rumble. Chris Thieren. Alex Tuck. Brian Dublin. This could be our autograph, I think. We'll, we'll save it there. And Jamie McCowan. Another Steve Chasen. We love our Red Wings. I think that's the guy I was trying to think of before. Adam Henrique. And another Red Wing. Jonathan Erickson in our autograph to finish it off. We got a Stan Stanislav Gilov from the Hershey Bears. Sticker auto. Pretty good. I, I think I was more impressed with the patches than the auto. As I said, we haven't really had an auto, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that ends it there. Whew, good. We got them cleaned up. Now I just have the other uh, previous teams. Maybe I'll do that in a different video, but I'm going to clean those up off camera. As Ken and I, we got to get running to go get his little brother. Anyways, until next time, guys, keep those tires pumped and racing, and be sure to comment which team you'd like to drive. Anyways, thanks again. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Can I see the patch?